Welcome back. Interior designer Wendy Lindsay joining us on the show from United Floors. Great to have you back on the show. Thank you. Happy Friday to you. Yeah, you too. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Wendy, one of your expertise areas is windows and window coverings and how to dress them up or dress them down if the case yep. calls for it. Uh, so tell me a little bit about how you, how you figure these things out with windows. I mean, it's not easy. Well, first function has to follow, be the first thing that is the, you know, dealt with and then then I can do the aesthetics on how it should look. So typically people don't know there's more than one option for their windows. So my job, I feel, is to show them, you know, even if they just want verticals, there's maybe other choices. Mm -hmm. And because sometimes you can have a beautiful room and completely destroy it with the window coverings. Mm -hmm. so, Should we look at the pictures? Yes. We have some pictures that uh, Wendy sent along, taken by her son, I believe. Yes, my son's a professional <coughs> photographer, so mm -hmm. he took this. This is actually an example of a bathroom that I helped design, and this is the window covering, and it's just a roller blind with a slight pattern. So stands up to the bathroom. Um, this is actually Woven Woods, one of my favorites. Beautiful. It, it's, uh, there, this is a farm, so it ha adds that decor. Plus they're neutral, so we change wall colors. I also helped design this. Okay. Now this is an example of a room that I don't think needs a window covering at all because it would just complicate the room and I've designed this bathroom and this is an example where I think you don't need window coverings. Let's just stay on this picture for a second. Is this here in Kamloops? Yes. Very interesting, isn't yeah. it? It's a yeah. very, and I this, would never put all these different materials together but it somehow works really beautifully. It's, it's, it's a, a West End home and uh, this is a renovation that I helped the client with yes. in addition and it's tile on the floor, tile on the walls, and in the shower that is not brick. And then we have shiplap on the left-hand side and glass countertop. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous in person. Yes, so. and I think a window covering would complicate it. It, it would just take away. Yes, yeah, from the so, other features. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is an example of a silhouette, which is a window covering where um, there's privacy needed from the street, but you still want to see out. Mm -hmm. So even though this is in the kitchen, during the day you can see out and no one can see in. It's a bit like a shear. Mm -hmm. You can shut it at night or you can completely pull it away. So in this case, privacy is needed from the street, but being able to not feel closed in. Let's just, uh, okay. Before we get to this one, um, I, I don't know if all people are aware that you can get blinds where you can look out, but people can't see in. And I think that's a very valuable thing when it comes to privacy. Well, it is. And some people explain that like there's this myth that the roller blinds this year we've like the trampoline type fabric that yes. you can see out and no one can see in. That's very true, except at night. Right. So when the lights on the inside, people can see Sure, in. of course. And sometimes that's not explained to people properly. Right. So. <laughs> Hopefully they figure it out. <laughs> yeah. So They probably yeah. will. Okay, so let's t take a look at this one. What are we looking at in this one? So this, these are called Solera's. They're actually all remote controlled blinds. This mm. client has five windows. So the fact of where the blinds are, they all needed to be remote controlled. These are top down, bottom up and then the side panels I had made for them just to tie the whole thing together. And the remote control simply for the fact that hard to sort of uh, uh, get yeah, to access? Yeah. And also the fact that there's five blinds in this room. Yes. So you can basically push a button and they all go up, they all go down, or you can adjust them. There's still the color of the curtains yeah. there as well to, to yeah. bounce the color off. And then of. this is the adjoining bathroom, so these are also remote controlled. and. I just think it adds to the decor as opposed to just being a functional thing. Absolutely. And uh, before we leave this picture, I love the lighting on Isn't over top of the bathtub. What yeah. is that? Like I've not seen that before. It's it's a crystals. It's absolutely it. beautiful. And the shot for the bedroom, there's two similar to that, but it's not in the shot. Okay. But um, yeah, so beautiful, gorgeous. I've coordinated all of the rooms that you've seen. Yes, so. great. Yeah. Um, how did you become an expert in window coverings? I mean, it's very. I think it's one of the last things people think of, but it really, as you said, can make a huge difference to the overall effect. Well, I think I feel I'm an expert because if someone asked me to come to their home, I ask them what they need the windows to do. Right. And then I will tell them what blinds will do what they need them to do, plus aesthetically making them look good. Mm -hmm. Plus I do drapery, which sometimes blinds just don't work. So sometimes drapery is a better solution. Mm -hmm. Right now, are more people going for blinds or drapery? 
They're going for blinds, but I see drapery really coming on strong. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah. And even in modern homes, which people would think it's too fussy, but there is a drapery called Ripple Folds, which is a very simple sheer, and I've done this in several modern homes in the not too long ago so mm -hmm. and we have a new showroom that will be completely finished within probably the next three weeks and we'll have examples of these draperies okay in the store so, so we can come and check them out yeah because people don't know what's out there no you have to come and see and get a feel and I'll for come it. and coordinate colors and design and I think window coverings should have some longevity to them because mm -hmm. they're a fairly big investment so I try to make them neutral ish mm -hmm. based on the client but helping them make it look amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. Fantastic. So a few weeks from now, people can come into the United yep. Floors and check out the newest uh, uh, yep. window coverings. Yeah, well, we have, and we have a big display, lots yes. of fabrics, mm -hmm. and it should be completely finished within the next three weeks. Awesome. Yeah. Wendy, thank you for being here. Thank you. All right. Thank you. If you have any questions for Wendy, you can certainly contact her at the store. The phone number is on the screen at 374-1223 and as well the website, as always, unitedfloors.ca. We're back after a quick break. Stay with us.